So, Melina wrote to me asking me about the difference between the applied neuroscience and the psychology and neuroscience of mental health courses at King's College London. Of course, these are the two neuroscience-based online master's programs. So, first and foremost, I just want you to say, oh, I just want you to know that the only difference is in two modules. For applied neuroscience, you have to take two compulsory neuroscience modules in your advanced stage modules. And for psychology and neuroscience and mental health, you won't do those two, but you'll do two other ones. And I'll explain how that works in just now. Your master's program in this case is set up or is split into three thirds. For the first four modules count as your postgraduate certificate. So you can do those four and just leave the program, that's it, and you'll get a postgraduate certificate in psychology and neuroscience and mental health. However, if you want to move on to the advanced stage modules, your second third is in, I mean, it's a postgraduate diploma, so it's slightly higher than a postgraduate certificate. And it includes four modules of which you can choose from a list of 10 optional modules. So here, the psychology and neuroscience of mental health will choose four from the optional modules and the applied neuroscience will choose two from the optional modules and then do two compulsory neuroscience modules. Then you can leave the postgraduate, well, you can leave the program if there if you like and you'll get given a postgraduate diploma. However, you can then move on to the master's programs, which are research programs. And I believe everyone would have their own uh, projects to do. I don't know if, I don't really know how those work because I haven't done those yet. I've actually just completed the first four, right? but you'd be doing reviews and things like that. And so in this particular MSc part, I think it's more up to you what you want to study. So if you've done applied neuroscience, you might want to do something more neuroscience based. Whereas if you've done psychology and neuroscience of mental health, you might want to do something more based on one of the modules that you did in psychology and um, sorry, in the postgraduate diploma as in one of the 10 options or if you're the applied neuroscience guy, maybe you might want to do something related to one of these first 10, but you're still an applied neuroscience guy because you've done the two modules that were required for the applied neuroscience MSc. Um, yeah, so I think that more or less explains it, but to anyone that may still be, may still want something a bit more visual, I apologize that this isn't very easy to see. But on this side, I've got the applied neuroscience and on that side, I've got psychology and neuroscience and mental health. So to summarize, you both do the first, same first four modules. You must complete all four of these before you move on to the postgraduate diploma. So four, four, yeah. Then after that, the neuroscience guys come down and they do two there and two from there. So two of the optional 10 modules you pick two out of the 10 and two of the compulsory neuroscience modules. Whereas the psychology and neuroscience and mental health guys only do, or oh, sorry, they, they do four of these. Yeah. Four of the 10 optional and they don't do the neuroscience modules. Then after completion of these postgraduate diplomas, they all move on to the MSc program where they do some research modules, research-based modules. And the, the end qualification you get is based on which of these, which modules you did here. If you did four from the first 10, you'll get given the psychology and neuroscience of mental health. Sorry. If you did four from the 10 optional modules, not the first 10. If you did four modules from the first, from the optional 10 modules, you get the psychology, neuroscience and mental health. And if you did two of the neuroscience modules and two of the optional modules, as long as you've got these two neuroscience modules, you'll get given the applied neuroscience MSc. So I hope that answers your question. I hope that to the rest of you, you learned something. And uh, please rem remember to subscribe and check out neuroscienceafterdark.com. Please support the website. It's mine. I need to get the analytics up so that I can uh, 
do whatever I'm doing in my career. <laughs> Thank you. Laters.